refuse to be a slave. God did not make you a slave. In this video today, I'm going to show you many things. And if you avoid these things, I'm going to mention to you today. You will discover that you are mighty. That the Lord sent you in the world for a great purpose. And for a special mission. That is why you come into the world. You are a blessing to this generation. Your coming into this world is for a purpose. In fact, I celebrate God that God sent you in this world. Because that assignment God wants to use you to do, without you coming into this world, it will never be done. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on my Facebook page at Anthony Ministry TV. God bless you. Today, you will discover there is strength inside you. Satan always shows you the area of your weakness. But I want you to understand, if you can look at the opposite direction of what the devil is showing you today, you will discover that you have enough, a lot of strength. But Satan wants to turn your strength into weakness. I will explain it to you. Satan, God created him with wisdom. Don't forget that Satan is a wise being. He's not a foolish being. So what they will normally do is that when he come, when he see a man, he will see the strength of that man. He know that this one that the Lord destined him to become a multi-millionaire, multi-billionaire. What Satan will do is that he will quickly come to that man before the appointed time of that blessing will comes. He will quickly come to that man and begin to discourage him, begin to show him his ancestors that died poor. Begin to show him his grandmother that was wretched before he died. Begin to show him many problems, even his present situation. How he could not be able to pay bills. How he, can, he could not be able to solve some little, little and minor, minor problems in his life. Because he want to get this man, he want that man to become a slave to himself. That is why I am telling you in this video, refuse to be a slave. Refuse to be a slave. The greatest level of slavery is the slavery through thoughts through thoughts that is number one a slave of thoughts thought has the power to make you perpetual slave that is why bible makes us to understand in the book of proverbs chapter 23 verse 7 bible say as he thinketh in his mind as that man thinketh in his heart so is he our life is governed by thought what we are thinking always you may not be able to understand that the power of darkness in your life that the secret to why satan is launching all the highest attack to you and getting you is because you are thinking to the direction of the attack your thought has been like the the plan of satan against your life satan is planning how you will fail and you also is also planning how to fail you also is seeing failure around you. You also is seeing trouble around you. And Satan will end up telling you there is no way, there is no hope anywhere. And he is trying to convince you. But I want you to know that there is something beyond what you can see. There is something beyond what you can see. Bible said that we live by faith and not by sight. Hear me, child of God. You may not be able to understand that you're coming into this world, that your state will know you, your country will hear of you, the world will know you, because you're coming into this world is for a special purpose. There is a purpose why God sent you on earth. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, the Bible says, I know the thought I have for you, thought of peace and not of evil. Think, check right now, how are you thinking? What is that thought that is normally going on in your heart 24 hours? Is a master of slavery. That thought wants to make you to become a slave. That thought that normally rises up in your heart. Sometimes you look at your bills. Sometimes you look at your problems. Sometimes you look around you, see many things to solve. Look, look around you, see many bills to pay. And there is no money to pay it. Satan wants to use that situation to convince you to, and to believe that you are poor. Satan wants to use that situation to convince you and to make you to believe that you are a poor person. But hear me, the Bible makes us to understand that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. 
you are fearfully and wonderfully made. There is a reason why God sent you in the world. We really need you in this world. The world really needs you. Your assignment on earth matters to God and matters to us generally because your coming into this world is for a great purpose. There is no man on earth who can achieve what we achieve on earth. There is no man on earth out of billions of people, billions of numbers of people in the world is discovered that your fingerprint is different. Everything about you is different. God has no photocopy. God has no photocopy. Every man is unique. Every man is unique. That is why the thought you the, in your heart right now, shake that thought. That thought is your highest enemy. What is the thought that's going on in your heart? You don't know the reason why they will normally show you your family background. Sometimes you go for prayer, you go for prayer ministry. They remind you that your family is in bondage. They now tell you there is a cause that's operating in that your family that nobody will progress in that place. But I shake the life of everybody, the life of people in the Bible. Look at Abraham. Abraham, his father was nobody. His father was nobody. Maybe you are saying, oh, my father is nobody. Oh, my parents don't have money. I wish my parents have money. I wish my parents are billionaires. I wish they have companies. Look at Abraham. Abraham, the Lord used him as a signboard to demonstrate that he can bless you. His father was poor. In fact, his father was nobody. Bible makes us to understand that the Lord appeared to Abraham. And the Lord appeared to Abraham. And Abraham became a child of God. And the Lord used him to destroy the programs of darkness in that family. And the Bible said, now Abraham was old, and the Lord has blessed him in all things, in silver, in gold, in livestock, in all things. The Lord bless Abraham. Your thoughts, Satan wants to give you a thinking pattern, a thought pattern, in order to use your thought to hold you in bondage. And this is why many people never receive deliverance. If you have not watched the message I dropped, the secret for permanent deliverance. Look for it. Search for it on YouTube. Search for it on Facebook. You will see it there. It will bless your soul when you do so. So your thinking pattern, you are believing God for something. You will pray. After pray, you fast, you sow seed, but you went ahead and think negatively, negatively, towards what you have prayed for, towards what you have fasted for, Towards what you have so seed for, you now begin to think negatively. The Bible makes us to understand that the Lord is able to do exceeding abundantly above all your acts and imagine or think. So everything, the word you say through prayer matters. The one you are thinking in your heart matters. Refuse to be a slave. Refuse to allow Satan to use you to make you a slave. Choose never to be a slave. Come out of slavery. Come out of slavery. Look at Joseph. Joseph was nobody. The Lord prospered him. The Lord made him somebody in life. You are not the first person to be in this situation. You are not the first person to be in this condition you find yourself right now. You are not the first person for this present situation to come to you. You are not the first person that is going through these challenges of life there are a lot of people they are going through these challenges they have already they have went through these challenges of life and the lord bless them and deliver them oh i prophesy that the same god will deliver you in jesus name refuse to be a slave of yourself refuse to allow devil to convince you through your thoughts through your imagination refuse to allow satan to use your thoughts and your imagination to bring you into bondage, everlasting bondage, everlasting slavery. Refuse to allow Satan to make you a slave through what you are thinking, through what you are imagining, through what you conclude within yourself. That is the highest slavery in life. And I decree, as you begin to pay attention on this word, think towards the word of God. The Bible says, whatsoever that is pure, whatsoever that is holy, Whatsoever that is that is of good report, if there is any virtue, if there is any praise, think on this matter. Think on these things. 
think on these things. So let your thinking, let your meditation, let your imagination, let everything you are thinking in your heart go together according to what God said. You are. You are special to God. Refuse to be a slave. Come out of slavery. Choose not to be a slave. And the Lord will bless you. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my Facebook page at Antony Ministry TV. And also join me together to sh in sharing this message to everyone. May the peace of God and the God of peace be with you. See you next time. And bye for now.